Hello everyone, welcome back. I have some news for you. Well, actually more like a discovery than a news. Courtesy from Twitter user Timur222. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this person uncovered a trademark just this month, July 12, 2024 by Zenimax Media, the parent company of Bethesda. And the name that they trademark is Starborn. Now, this could be nothing. It could be just Bethesda wanting to legally own something they have created. It doesn't mean anything, but it could also mean that they have a product that they want to use that name on. And I don't know, but my money is on another DLC. We already know that there's going to be another DLC after Shadow Space that has been already confirmed by the man himself, Todd Howard, during an interview just last month, and the timeline just kind of aligns. We're getting close to August, September, the launch of Shadow Space. Probably they have some developers just putting the finishing touches, just polishing the DLC for launch, and they probably have started on the next DLC. And maybe the story is going to be about the Starborns. This is all speculation from me, but I am super excited because we certainly don't have enough information about Starborns in the main campaign. It doesn't answer a lot of questions. By the way, spoiler alert in 3, 2, 1. So in the main campaign, we don't know much about the Starborns other than they exist and that you can become one after you enter the, what is it called? The Unity, after you enter the Unity. But other than that, we don't really know much about it. Like, who do they take orders from? Do they take orders from the creator? Who is the creator? Why did they create the Starborns? Do they hang out somewhere? Is there a high-tech city somewhere in between the universe or outside of the universes where all the Starborns go to hang out and share tips and ideas? Like, we don't know anything. We just go into the Unity and we're given a ship and an armor. Are we like independent Uber contractors? Do we just go out and just collect artifacts? So, you know, a lot of questions. So hopefully they are working on some of those answers and we get to see it at some point in the future after Shadow Space. So I am pretty excited. I am really hoping that that is the case, that this trademark is a sign that they are working towards that. So. That's what I have. Again, you know, take everything that I'm saying with a grain of salt. I'm just really rumbling and speculating here. Also, just to close this out, we know that we have the vehicles coming to the game, either with the DLC Shadow Space or hopefully before, in an update before that. Uh, one thing that I'm really hoping is that Bethesda, please, please don't make the vehicle a paid creations mod. I'm going to buy it anyways, regardless, and I know a lot of people will probably do that as well because we just want a vehicle. But I think more reason not to make it a pay one because people are going to pay it, but they're going to hate you for it. Now, I am totally cool if you have accessories that you can put on the vehicle, maybe skin packs and things like that, and make all of that stuff paid mods. I'm totally cool with that. Anyway, just my wish, just my thoughts. So, all right, that is it for the video. Just a really quick one because I wanted to share this excitement with you guys. I was really excited when I saw this. My brain just completely went into that direction that this is a DLC. Hopefully, that's what it is. All right, anyway, that's it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game. Have fun. And I'll see you all in the next video.